For about an hour after the earthquake, no one at Capital City Christian Church was sure what had become of their mission team. Nine-year-old Brittany Kincaid's mother and brother were there. They were right here when the earthquake hit. They were terrible. I didn't know where they were. Jenny and Tom Weeks' son Chris was in Jockmel, not far from Brittany's loved ones. Even after church leaders got a text message saying all were okay, folks back home had reason to worry. We weren't sure where exactly where they were at, um, if it was going to be safe for very long. A week after the quake, five days after they were supposed to return, they did. <laughs> to a hero's welcome. They came back with smiles <laughs> and scars. They survived. 200,000 Haitians, the people they'd come to help, didn't. I hope if people don't even have a dollar to give that they will pray because God answers prayers. Tom Weeks says he thinks his son may have survivor's guilt. Chris Weeks says he'll never be the same. Just seeing how they lived before and after and everything they built, like houses down there, it takes 20, 25 years to build, and now they're gone in a matter of seconds. So. You want to go back one day? Oh, I'll be back as soon as they'll let me go. Brittany's 12-year-old brother says his faith in God is stronger now, but he won't forget the children he saw begging for food and money. I get to come back home to this and my family. And they have no more. They have no family, no place to stay. Some will return as soon as they can. The rest will do what they can from here. Please pray for my family down in Haiti. You know, they're now my brothers and sisters, as well as your all. So just keep them in your prayers. At the Cincinnati Airport, John McGarry, ABC 36, your local news source.